And we're back. Boy, are we in for a treat. Jana Jay is still with us, and we're going to be talking music, orchestra, private classes, donations, and all sorts of, I don't know what all, as Andy Griffith might say. <laughs> Jana, good to see you, kid. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, there's a lot going on, even though we've been experiencing COVID. We've, we've been busy, and we've got a busy schedule ahead, so we're glad well, now, to be here. Help me out here, because I know, I know, and I want to make sure everybody else knows, you have a, a your finger in a lot of musical pies, not the least of which Too many. is organizations going up around Grand Lake, don't you? Right. We do three festivals. We've put on three festivals for quite a few years, and the June Festival is a great big American Heritage Music Festival, and we showcase our American music, a lot of fiddle tunes, a banjo, mandolin, and mostly acoustic instruments, and it's so much fun. And uh, getting bigger and better, even through COVID. Now, for COVID, we're going outside. Instead of in the Civic Center, we're outside at Wolf Creek Park. Then in July, we do a Cajun Fest over the 4th of July and celebrate our national melting pot heritage. And then I do my fiddle camp, which is my favorite of all, over the uh, Labor Day weekend. And uh, that's what caught their attention, I think, for this donation of fiddles, because we have about 100 people involved and more wanting to be involved. And so many times, they do not have an instrument or a good instrument. And so this is delightful. I'm so, so thrilled about this instrument donation. I tell you what, uh, to have someone of your stature involved uh, I mean, and, and, you know, and bringing even stronger legitimacy to the need of the children is absolutely awesome. Well, thank you for that. And, you know, my, my payback is uh, being able to share music. And I truly love sharing music and, and the little bit of teaching I'm able to do and still tour and still do the Grand Lake Festivals. But uh, right... Uh, in Claremore, I have NTC. Uh, I just I told them I would do a fiddle class Monday evenings uh, for six weeks and uh, called Fiddle In With Flair. And uh, I said, well, I'll do it once and help the program get started. Sure. This sure. spring, I'm. This will be my twelfth class because we have a blast. <laughs> and these are adults. And some of the adults need instruments, too. So we have a lot of full-size violins that are coming in. It started to be 10 instruments they were going to give us, and now it's up to 14. Well, do you have, uh, I know you work with in individuals yes. frequently, but are you also involved in any sort of uh, symphonic uh, work? I do chamber music uh, festivals. We're, we're going to England, actually, in September, if we can, because of COVID. And um, when I do these chamber music festivals, I, I put on a fiddle, a fiddle workshop for the classical players. So, you know, I have to prove my worth playing the Bach, Beethoven, and I love to sight read. So, you know, I love I chamber bring, music, so. I bet you'll bring the house down. Well, they, you know, I'll just, earn my way with the classics and then I'll do some little fiddle ending or something and the classical players will say, gosh, how did you do well, that? Would you do that again? Would you show me how to do that? <laughs> <laughs> since you brought it up, let's get a couple of examples for the folks at home. Give us an example of some old time country fiddling. Would you mind? Old time country fiddle. I will do it. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, like I said, Sam, I'm getting kind of frisky when I'm playing. I've got all these mic chords and things. So, ah. now this is my violin. This is a uh, 1750 uh, violin made in Milan, Italy. And uh, I, I love it. And uh, so I, I'm kind of used to this one. But... Thank <laughs> you. 
Headed back to the barnyard, boys. The shoes are killing me. <laughs> That's good. Now then, you need to write a tune or two, Sam. A hit. Let's go to the other end of the spectrum. Give us some uh, very serious classical music, if you wouldn't mind. Okay. I want the folks at home to know who we're dealing with. Oh, well, let's do the one that you were humming. <laughs> Put on my Cossack uniform and <laughs> yes. drop down and start kicking from my knees. You know, Before, that was years ago. I could do that. You know what? You are just a genuine talent, and it's such a it's such a treat to have you oh, on camera you. with us. Well, you know, I, it's a treat for me to be here, and I remember Sam that uh, I had a little part in a a regional Emmy that you were awarded. And I was so proud of that, still am. And you just are such a professional, Sam. We all appreciate you. You know, you could be in New York City or, or, or Hollywood. And, oh, bless uh, your heart. <laughs> but would here you, you mind are. To go, you, would you mind to tell my boss that? <laughs> uh, I'm really getting tired of washing his car. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't it fun? <laughs> We've only got about four minutes left, okay. Jenna. Uh, just, one of the things I'd like to get from you is music courses through your veins. and I mean, you've passed it on. You have a son that uh, is making his mark out in California, isn't he? He is. Uh, he's a little far away to suit mom, but uh, I'm a proud mom. He's a member of the Los Angeles Guitar Quartet, and they play all over the world. And uh, thank goodness for Zoom, because I get to hear his two children play piano, or they're, they're not into violin yet, but they're both doing piano. And Matt is extraordinarily talented on guitar, of course, and I just am so proud of him. So it's okay that he and his family are in LA, but I'm hankering to go see him. I'll tell you, I miss them. And they won't let well, me come out there yet because of COVID. Do do us a favor. Let me know the next time he's coming to town. I'd really like to meet him. Well, I certainly will do that. I want him to meet you as well. I've heard his work, and uh, the man is good. <laughs> he's good. They, they play the Los Angeles Guitar Quartet on NPR quite a bit, and um, they just uh, released an album with uh, Pat Metheny. They do a lot of variety of things. So uh, they wow. did a Brazilian jazz album, and uh, and now this Pat Metheny album is pretty extraordinary, called Road to the Sun. What a, what a life sun. you've led, and you, know, I mean, you are on network television shows for years. You're still touring, still traveling. We're touring with uh, our Hee Haw Bunch. Isn't that wonderful? Wow, uh, it's terrific. Yeah, Lulu Roman, Misty Rowe, and I. We have uh, Erlene Mandrell some of the time, and T.G. Shepard is going to be with us in May uh, oh, at that's Sault Ste. Marie. <laughs> Where do you tape it? Uh, well, we're not taping. These are live shows. We're on the road. Yeah. Oh, really? We, yes, we did a taping for the 50th anniversary. You know, I wasn't on for 50 years. <laughs> Lulu was on for 50 years, and she's very proud of that. She's the, orig or the original, but I was only on the, about the last five years of the taping. But these are close friends. You know, you make these sure. deep friendships. So um, when, when Sam Lavello, the producer of Hee Haw, passed away, we had a big memorial gathering and celebration in honor of Sam, another Sam. And uh, that's when this idea came about. I said, uh, why don't we get together? I have a bus. I have Roy Clark's bus. Why don't we get together and put this show on the road? 
And we've had, we had a great time in uh, the end of 2019 is when that October, and then 2020, you know, in February, everything has postponed. Now we're Jana, starting again I'm, in the fall. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Jana, but we are out of time. Oh, I talk uh, too much. <laughs> we we want to get you back. Thank you for all you're doing. Thank you for all you're going to do. And uh, I look forward to visiting with you again. And I'm still looking for a blue fiddle. Jana J, everybody. I'll get you one. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Jana. <laughs> Bye-bye. Folks, Bye. we'll see you next time right here, Roger State Public Television Perspectives. <laughs> Skyway, I saw below me 